Ooh, we have a chest cold open. What's up there, Spikelings? It's me, your friendly neighborhood aspiring Spike, and let, let me show you the door. Wait, don't leave. I mean, show you the door to nothingness. It's a magic card that's going to win us a bunch of Moto League trophies. How you ask? Well, my friend, it's just, you just have to stay tuned and find out why you're here. Why not leave a like, come fo like, comment, follow, sub, support my sponsors, and give my two precious dogs a pet or two. They're super friendly, unlike this deck. Speaking of sponsors, we have a new one. We are now sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. They are a website that sells a lot of magic products and other cool, nerdy stuff. You can go over there and uh, use code SPIKE to get 5% off. Thank you, Cool Stuff, for helping support the channel. Really been uh, liking work with them so far. Uh, as far as changes to the Timeless Lotus deck, not too much has changed. Uh, we ended up cutting the ensnaring bridge and the um torpor orb for two copies of welding jar still kind of considering cutting the liquid metal coating but i do think the fact that you can turn to karn on the play in some matchups makes you want to keep the coating in the sideboard despite almost never getting it um i was also wasn't sure if i wanted two or three welding jars to protect against uh, disenchant effects post board of course not protecting saga is kind of awkward but protecting your lotus and your amulets is Really nice, and doing so for zero mana is uh, pretty premium as well. Um, retain priority, think of it 32 months. I mostly just kind of want to just... Yeah, Giganta is online. Uh, definitely one advantage this deck has over Amulet Titan. Uh, when you compare this deck to Amulet Titan, you have, some, you have a few distinct advantages. One, you're not exposing your creatures in, in super hardly to like solitude and holy heat they can still kill your golos but a lot of times you can even like float mana for golos and activate it and and you know in, in response to them killing it um you have timeless lotus which is a card that plays through blood moon pretty well you have escape to the wilds as in, in sorry your escape to the wilds golos timeless lotus all being five mana makes your curve a little bit lower card to uh, card calling card a four drop is maybe Maybe inaccurate, but your curve is a little bit lower to help you get like through cheap counter magic. Um, you do get access to Giganta as a companion, but I am you know I, I I'm not sure that all those advantages outweigh not getting to put Primeval Titan in your deck. <laughs> um, you could put Primeval Titan in this deck, but the problem is you have to also add like at that point you have to add the Teleri West and you have to add um, the Haste Land, Double Strike Land. It's a, it's a, it's a bigger package of cards. A Summoner's Pack 2 is pretty mandatory. And, and at that point, you're just transitioning all, all the way into traditional Amulet Titan. But um, this deck has definitely been a lot of fun. We have been winning a lot with it, too. And it is it is hard hard to evaluate. Definitely very fun to kill your opponent with Door to Nothingness on turn 3. <laughs> um... <laughs> I don't know. There's just there's just a lot going on. Uh, I ended up tr messing with the mana a little bit. I but I, after like messing with it, some I actually like the mana base we have. I think you could play like third besage you over third forest, uh, maybe or over fourth forest. But having forest for blood moon is really relevant. I considered um, going down a bounce land, but I think with how streamlined the deck is, I think you really really like you want to play like ten bounce lands and a lotus field. You just really need these in your opening hand every single time. Um, where, like, I feel like Amulet Titan can kind of afford to cantrip into them. You do have Ancient Stirrings, but I, 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 you really, really want it in your opening hand in this, like, really fashion. Blondie, 23 months, thank you. I love Dora. I still think we should run Dora. I actually think we should. I don't know. Oh, I didn't realize the record checker is up here. Uh, there, there were, like, several times yesterday where Dora was, like, I think better than, like, any other Karn target. Could be, could be wrong. Could be biased. Okay, we're on the draw against the Mulda 6. Let's go ahead and keep this. Do we want a research desk? I don't think so. I have a hard time imagining ever getting that over an amulet. No, I feel like the door was good all day yesterday, honestly. It's like... People kept asking, like, what's the advantage of having door over Ballista? Well, door is only 15 mana to kill, as opposed to 40. Um, and it just ends the game immediately, too, which is really, really, uh, good. Okay, we found an amulet. Definitely the main card we needed here. Can we, can we Golos next turn? So we can go amulet into Lotus Field for three. Sack both lands, which is obviously not great. Um, <laughs> we also go Gruel Turf, pick up a Seiju... No, no, no. Gruel Turf. 
two, three, four. Yeah. So if we if we get, we could use Lotus Field to go Lotus in turn two, but um, doing so would re result in me having no lands. I don't know if it's gonna be worth it at this spot. You just hold grazers to go off. Uh, typically, yeah. Typically, I think you're supposed to hold grazer. My opponent's playing my, the third grazer here. Spike this deck has potential. We were seven and three with it yesterday. It's winning on turn three a lot. I would potential for sure. It's an interesting draw. I want with the Ragavan being out there. I definitely want to have an answer for Ragavan. I think I'll leave the Grill Turf in play this turn. Just pick up the Besage You. Put the Besage You into play. Cast the Stirrings. Hmm. Second Amulet is so nuts here. But I, I, I think we likely just have to grab another Bounce Land. Could go really crazy with... If I had one more green and could like Lotus Field Golos, i take the Amulet, but I, I think I'm kind of committed to this. Again, I think I think having the Grazer and play the block the Ragavan is, is pretty key here. I haven't, I haven't like really taken too many slower lines like this with the deck yet, and so I'm kind of interested in, in doing so. Although maybe this is just not the matchup for it. I'm not 100% sure. Torp Orb was to protect Karn from Golos and Fury Solitude. No, it was mostly like a proactive card you could play against Amulet Titan. You're not, I'm not really worried about Fury Solitude. That's a 3 forest 1 Crumbling Vestige. I considered it, but I think there's a lot of games where you, like, are sequencing, like, you want, you need, like, this game is a good example where you have, like, multiple Grazers and Stirrings, and you need that land to tap for green multiple times. I could, I could be wrong, but, um, that's the main reason I didn't, uh, make that split, but I did, I did consider it. Also, Blood Moon is still a consideration. Wow! Drew the extra amulet anyways. Okay, um, can we spin Golos is always the question, I guess. So lo so I could go Lotus Field 8 mana into Grazer for another minus 1 plus 3. And then, yeah, we, we, could, we should be able to spin. Um, I can go Lotus Field for, like, blue, white, red, green, then get black off the Golos. Seems fine. We even get to keep the Lotus Field in play. Blue, white, blue. Gonna use the grazer now. There's no way they're playing subtlety. Uh, I've seen I main deck subtlety in Merktide before. I would be surprised though. Talk about how busted Urbrasca is. Urbrasca is really cool. I, I think in, in the context of modern, it's not likely to make a big impact. I wonder if we're ever supposed to pick up Lotus Field here actually. Probably not. One, two, three, four, five. Rot farm. Obviously need to hit well off the Golo spin here. Oh, and we did. We had another goal, two Goloses, and an escape to the wild. So let's go to discuss the escape first. Um, now I wish I picked up the Lotus Field. Okay, there's a Timeless Lotus, though. Plus our Manifold Key. Um, let's just go ahead and cast... The, oh, I have to I have to make mana? What a... What a it's, yeah, sometimes it's like you have uh, Golos, Golos spells in exile, and then you have escape to the wild spells in exile, and you're like... I've been getting confused a little bit. So we don't have a land drop floating, but the Timeless Lotus is like plus 14 mana or something like that. Each of these Goloses is basically minus one mana, although I could I could have, I guess, Golos for like a Gardens first. That could have been better. Yeah, maybe I was supposed to Golos for Gardens first. I'm just going to spin again here, though. Okay, we hit a Nemercool. Which is probably game over. 
I can also Karn for... Okay, there we go. Pack it on. All right, sick. Okay, so the question is, I don't think you bring in Welding Jar against Murktide. We played against a Murktide opponent who had Shattering Spree yesterday, which stank. But usually it's like a couple brothers who didn't in the sideboard, which is so slow. I don't think that you're really supposed to play around it. Yeah, I do. I, I, I've been, this deck has been really, really interesting. Yeah, you win, in game, you win game one most of the time. Blood Moon is definitely a concern. Uh, we could bring in the Haywire Might. Let's actually bring in the Haywire Might. Curio goes infinite with an amulet and double grazer. Which, uh, th this, honestly, amulet, double grazer, Curio is pretty interesting. I, I think that you could potentially play a version of Titan that, like, like you have summoner's packs for your grazers. It, it actually seems like you could potentially combo off on, like, turn two. Um, with a degree of consistency, and so I, I've, I, I've been meaning to like message Fran about it. Although it's just been since yesterday that we had the idea. Um, just like Amulet Titan with like, I don't know, maybe three Banda Curios and a Karn, and you know you just. Uh, I guess we put back the Azusi here. Just need one Grazer, the Bounce Land can return Grazer. But yeah, people also don't know what Cloudstone Curio does. Cloudstone Curio returns the same card type that entered the battlefield. Um, there's, yeah, there's been a lot of confusion on what it is exactly that Cloudstone Curio does. I think we're, we're supposed to put the Gardens into play here in case we draw an Amulet. Because we only have one Bounce Land. Although we can play our Bounce Land next turn, maybe and just have a slower, worse draw. Thank you, Jeff. 22 months. Yeah, not a lot of huge changes from yesterday, but we, the main thing is we have uh, some welding jars in the board now. So this is... Yeah, we're going to be one short of casting a 5-drop next turn. That bolt on the Grazer definitely very important here. Have I true Udaki Cloudkeeper out? Uh, no, that, that card sucks. You, you lose 2 life every single time you tap it. Um, you're going to lose like 4 to 6 life when you use it. It just doesn't seem very good. Play this yesterday on Merfolk and 2-0 to put a dirtled and scooped without doing anything. <laughs> huh? Man, it sounds like they kept a bad hand. I don't know. <laughs> so, so far, the experience is you win like almost all of your game ones, and then uh, you lose a lot of cyber games to cyber hand, which is probably like a good power level for this archetype to be. If only our powerful Grazer had lived. Being on the play for game three is also like super important. What if you play Dry Diver? It's a 1 1, lets you bounce a land or Grazer with Curio. Uh, I mean, it, it, I'm interested if that somehow combos in a way that I'm not seeing. I don't think that that is a combo though. But I'm not that interested if it's just like generic, general value, I guess. I don't think this is going to resolve, but I'm going to cast a spell. Oh, wow, they let it resolve. So I have a ton of mana for next turn. Assuming they don't have, like, Brazen Borrower, that'd be so embarrassing. It's just Infinite Storm, I see. Yeah, but I, I, I don't know. I, I need to message Fran or summon Fran or something, but... I, I do think that the idea of just, like, like having eight Grazers with your Summoner's Packs, and even, like, Teleria West for Summoner's Pack for Grazer, makes me feel like you can get infinite really quickly. Oh, man, was this... We could have cast this next year, right? This is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, we would have been able to... We would have just been hardcasting Ember Pool. Damn it. Pope, I think with a Tier 1 Gifted Sub. Okay, so they have four cards in their hand. Stupid rag, man. Hopefully this resolves. Not very likely to. Ugh, yeah, so frustrating. Uh, I guess we're not 100% dead, though. Can I Gigantha and make a Construct? I might. I think I have exactly enough. Token. One man, no, I'm one mana short. 
So I guess we can just copy key for extra mana, but... Um, like, likely gonna be going to game. Three in a moment. You're gonna top lotus. I was counting, yeah, I was counting the <laughs> lotus on top. I counted that I was one mana short. Not, not close to doing it without untapping lotus. Right, game three. Get to be on the play. Maybe on the play we don't need the haywire might. Kind of like that theory. Just want to be as fast as possible. Um. Yeah, I think we mulligan this. This might Grazer being pretty premium card in this matchup. And I, you know, obviously don't like this hand very much, but we do have 11 or 10 bounce lands and a Lotus field. Double gardens is really juicy. Could keep a Seiju. Yeah, let's keep, let's put back a card, keep up a Seiju for a possible blood moon. Yeah, I, 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 we, can't, we can't mulligan. We just like have to draw, draw into a bounce land. We also have four ancient stirrings, so it's like... I don't know if we count the map, but it's like 11 plus, like it's like 15 really powerful draws here. Should have done this in response to the consider, but I have seen a braid lately, so I'm gonna just play around a braid a little bit, borrow or two, I guess. Yeah, a bounce lane this turn is just like game over if they tap out. Okay, come on. Bounce Lane or Lotus Field. Yes! Okay. Dude, this is so exciting. Um, Yeah, I think so we just go Growth Chamber into Timeless Lotus. Can't, Unfortunately, can't get third Amulet first. Before I, I got force of negation the other day, it's brutal. Okay, so I didn't hit a lot of action, but I did hit another amulet. Plus, I have my land drop. Plus, I have a grazer. So I have I have Karn plus a billion mana. Um, I think I actually missed tap, so I can't door them. Like, I, I, I use my white mana instead of green. Oh, I, I would have needed double white, though. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we have the right colors to show them the door here. Let's see, so this is plus five mana, so this is six, eleven total. So I could just, I could just Cityscape leveler them. Uh, I, also, I also could make infinite mana with, um, infinite mana with Filgree Sages, but then nothing to do with it. Um, like, likely just a, likely just a cityscape leveler. Garden's get filter, not for enough, not for enough. I need, we need double white. I don't think we have enough mana anyways. Uh, just, just checking that there's nothing else. Yeah, leveler is really, really good against them. So it's, this is kind of like the main reason leveler is even in the sideboard. Um, I think I can also just... Oh, sorry, this isn't... I can't use... I can't put the um, gardens into play with the um, with this land drop, though. I think I'll probably leave the Grill Turf in play. Because I'm just going to be playing like this. So it's like well, just going to be one extra mana. I should, oh, no, no, no. Sorry, I have, I have this in play so I can copy another amulet. Never mind, we just pick this up. I think I can Giganta in hand. Can't quite cast the Giganta. A little ways off. Too bad that Escape to the Wilds didn't find me. I mean, if I made a lot of mana, I just didn't find me any action. 
All right. It was good to beat Murktide. Do you think that the like the fact that our payoffs are five mana instead of six there was definitely really key? Um, this hand is interesting. We have Ancient Stirrings, but we can't cast it until turn three. Maybe I just demol again. We could maybe like talk myself into a keep on the play. Didn't let us not have a high win percentage, it was just so unfun. Uh, I don't know, I can't remember. Maybe. Is the key in the board for when you get to activate Karn a second time? Karn into key is mana neutral the first turn. Yeah, yeah, usually when you activate Karn the second time. Okay, um... Snap keeping. Am I supposed to put back? I'm probably supposed to put back... Okay, so Grazer is plus one mana, and then Azusa is also plus one mana. But Grazer, like, blocks... Oh, no, sorry, Azusa is plus more mana because I have the Gardens to copy. Grazer is so nuts. Points on the mold of five. Oh, you wanted to go for the turn two car, and I feel like I'm, like, always turn two Gardensing here. Maybe not. That side of Lattice is one slide your side where it's basically free, yeah. I, I, there was like an interesting conversation like ban card or ban Lattice, and I, I think banning Lattice is good gameplay consideration. You can still turn to Karn. Do I want to though, or do I want to just copy Amulet? So I can go great. I can go Growth Chamber, copy Amulet. Four mana, Azusa, into four more mana. Yeah, seems good. Spike learns how to play Amulet. Don't need to, don't, don't you need any ASP? Yeah. Having the Grazer to defend the card is really nice too. And then next turn we get to like, you know, like Cityscape level of them or Ballista or something. Can't you Stonebrain the Yogs? Um, I don't know if I have enough mana to Stonebrain. We'll see. I might, I might. We'll see. Uh, so, so this is going to be four mana. And then Azusa gives me, it's minus three plus eight. So a total of nine. So yeah, I can Stonebrain. I used to have an Azusa Tiny Leaders back back in the day. <laughs> I was undefeated. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna have four more mana. So this is nine total. So I can Karn for a five. Just trying to think if the, if I do want to Stone Brain Yogmoth or do if I want a Needle. Sometimes they play two Besaiju, so I feel like I feel like it's gotta be Stone Brain. Oh, we, also, oh, very notably, we we probably should have kept the other grazer though, because we could have like we could have infinite mana. Not that not that this is actually a spot where you would want an infinite mana, but that's that's probably a reason to keep the second grazer going forward in these spots. Wow. All right. So I think this is a matchup where we want two Welding Jars. I think we trim one Azusa. Probably trim the Expedition map pretty easy. Sam, 35 months, thank you. How did you have infinite mana? Um, I'm not sure if I had enough mana to make infinite mana, but the infinite mana combo, I, I, I wouldn't have had because I don't have to play the second Grazer. But just I'm just thinking about the, like having two, two Grazers plus Amulet plus Cloudstone Curio off of card is infinite mana. Uh, if you can get the Curio to trigger to bounce your other Grazer. Um, so we don't have a bounce land in this hand. This hand's close. It really just needs a bounce land because you go turn one Saga, turn two Gardens, turn three, go off. Points out a Mold of Six. Let's go ahead and join them, I think. I don't think we should keep this and just bank to draw a bounce land when we have so many better sixes. Although now we're going to five. My opponent kept six. This hand kind of has just the exact same issue, but less cards. 
I guess I put back Welding Jar since I'm on Saga. I can't protect from a Force of Vigor super well. I do think I hold Grazer for a Ritual, just like bank on drawing a Bounce Land. Because, again, I just go Saga, Garden. If I draw the Bounce Land in the top two, which I'm like not unlikely to do. Oh, well. Turn two Magus out of Yawgmoth. Can even attack through my grazer. That being said, we've got Gigantha. We have Timeless Lotus as out. It's not as GG as uh, it is for Amulet Titan. Although we're also not playing like. Oh, they also they also only have this higher for mana right now. I have a Karn too. Yeah, this is not GG. I can like Karn for Ballista if I just draw a land. That's not a saga. Timeless Lotus is big too. Although, worse into the Haywire might, maybe. I might, if I Ballista, I might even go, like, kill Haywire, I might kill Hierarch. We'll see what happens. Should I have Voxing offset? Yeah, I see. Let me mess with it in a little bit. Yeah, there's a good chance I just leave that Magus to the Moon in play, funny enough. Yeah, I, I was messing around with the layout due to the Cool Stuff sponsor. Go to coolstuffinc.com and use code SPIKE for 5% off. And they were very nice about me uh, forgetting to put up the logo yesterday. We are supposed to start yesterday. <laughs> they've, they've been very nice, very cool to work with. I, I'm also like about to like put in a big order for D&D stuff from them. <laughs> I think. Alright, ping here. That'll probably go block Magus ping might. Love CFB, yeah. There's like a whole YouTube video on it if you want to uh, get into that. Oh, I forgot to use Karn! Damn it! <laughs> ah, it's okay. Don't need Karn. <laughs> Oops. Probably getting Filgree Sages. Although I'm I'm kind of choked on blue man, I guess. Okay, so this turn I playing Amulet of Vigor so I can go Timeless Lotus into Untap next turn seems kinda nice. Although I can also go Escape to the Wilds into Amulet into Lotus next turn maybe. Um Could also just needle Yogmoth. Canister, early raid. Hope everything's alright. We're playing some more of this deck. This deck has just been so sick. Okay, I did find the land. Yeah, so let's just needle Yogmoth here. Getting to play through Magus of the Moon is definitely exciting here. Yog. Moth Rain Physician. Glad Canister didn't raid before. I forgot to activate Karn. So we can go Amulet into Lotus. Probably hold this Lotus unless we draw another Amulet because it's just, you know, replaces itself because it's a legendary. Into either Escape the Wilds or Karn or Golos. Probably just the Golos. Hoping for no fours. Uh, well. That stinks. So I actually lose these. That being said, I still have a lot of action, and they still can't cast any spells, so I'm feeling all right. So if I go, let's see, I have four, seven. I can go Karn for a three drop. I think I'll just go L L Lotus into Gigantha. We can card next turn. Yeah, the updates are just for this, just from the sideboard. <laughs> it's funny. 
Okay, um, so we can just win with infinite mana plus Ballista. Using Giganta for the extra blue to start the Filgree Sages loop. We don't want to tap the Giganta just yet. The Ballista is in my graveyard. Oh, damn it. Well... Fair enough. <laughs> we have infinite mana. Let me just do this while I think about how what else we can do. Door them? Uh, can we door them? The thing I don't think we have enough blue. Yeah, because we lose a blue mana every single time we do this. Stone Brain, Ballista, second card. Oh, that, that's three active, two more activations. We only have one more card activation this turn. Can't you just target yourself with the door? <laughs> All right, that's a line. Play a card and see if they concede. Manifold key with second car, and then you don't lose the blue. I don't have two more activations. I only have one more card activation this turn, right? Map for blue. Again, that's that's the if I use a card to get a card for mana, I can't card again. I've already activated card this turn. I don't want to kill the magus. Coding. Yeah, do we have a Golos in exile? We do have a Golos in exile from the uh, Escape to the Wilds. Perfect. Oh, not... Well, we can't spin. Stormbrain Yawgmoth? I just like, what is Yawgmoth even doing here, you know? Oh, no, we can spin. We can, we can spin once. We just, uh... Yeah, we can spin one time. So I guess I'll make a lot of mana and then, and then spin. Um... We already have a Gardens in play. Could just get a Lotus. Doesn't matter a lot. Do we have a basic island? All this like uh, Giganta mana floating is so obnoxious too. Lotus lets you spin three times. Um, we find another Lotus. Let me just do it one more time. Thankfully we can use some of the uh, Golos mana on, or the Giganta mana on Golos is ability. One, two, four. Convoluted game. Maybe escape before. Stirrings here. Do I still have the Emrakul in the deck? I think I do. Not that I hit it, but I did hit a, another Timeless Lotus. I think I am going to... We, we get we get at least two more spins. Should be enough mana to spin now before looping anymore. Mm. Wild game. Why isn't this just like real infinite mana, huh? <laughs> All the Goloses in the world. Still no Imrakul. That's okay. Looks like we are just gonna win the next turn. 
Any reason to play another Golos here? Can we play it into the next turn? Can we tell it this turn? Yeah, I guess we might as well get a land out of the deck. End of this turn, okay. Alright, uh, your turn. <laughs> Yeah, now if they attack with the Magus, will block. Okay, that's a good draw. <sighs> yeah, still can't open the door. Oh, no, I can, right? I just have Gigantha. Yeah, I just have Gigantha. It's actually... Wow, it's just elegant, even. We just tap, tap Timeless Lotus, tap Gigantha. You ever tap Gigantha to pay for a door to nothingness, y'all? <laughs> wow, isn't that nice? They even concede before I can do it. Yeah, definitely definitely nice that you can play through moon effects a bit easier with uh timeless lotus. Alright, Mulligan. 2-0, not playing super well, but 2-0. Okay, never mulligan this. Do you have graveyard decks on the sideboard? Helpful to get Ballista back? I feel like that, like, it just never comes up. The whole... Oh, I will relic myself and get back my Ballista. Like, like, in, like, in that game it wouldn't have come up. I wouldn't have, re I wouldn't have ever gotten relic. So, I think I can, you can use Stonebrain to the target opponent. Oh, Yawgmoth again. Okay, well. Definitely need to have payoff, but you have a ton of mana. Um, okay, we can use Lotus Field for our payoff. I guess, I guess we, we're gonna have to sack the forest, but that's okay. Three ambulance seems powerful. Good evaluation. <laughs> I concur. I concur. Chain Veil for infinite has come up with a career. How does Chain Veil go infinite without... Like Kiora or Garrick, or like you need Kiora right to untap the Chain Veil. You can't you can't go in from the Chain Veil with just Karn right unless I just grossly misunderstand how that combo works. Sounds like I might. Green again. Ah, just lands, damn it. <laughs> Curse you, escape to the wilds. Why isn't Titan playable field? It's too awkward in tight in regular Titan with um this we Gigantha. It's too awkward in regular Titan with uh Sorry, a Valakit. All right, Giganta, you got some work to do. Yeah, Giganta, best payoff. <sighs> ah, bummer. Is it worth making blue so in case you get in a spot where you need extra blue with Fogry Sage? Um, if you, it, we could just get a th three blue if we hit Karn off the um, like Karn Lotus. I don't think we'd ever be choked on blue, and you want to go for Sage. Unblockable, unblockable Gigantha, four turn clock. Oh, not a four turn clock anymore. You know, I keep seeing Hapatra being played by Yogmoth, and it's like the worst card I've ever seen. Uh, I used to, I used to love Hapatra all the time, but like lately, I feel like I keep seeing, um, I keep seeing them play Hapatra, and it just looks so bad. Like so much worse than I ever remember it being when I was playing a lot of Hapatra. And I'm not, I'm not saying it's definitely bad, but I am saying I now I now understand Demonic Tutor's hatred for the card. <laughs> but before I was like, I love Hapatra. But now they play Hapatra and I'm like, wow, I'm glad they did that over anything else. Okay, so we have Giganta to help us spin Golos here. So we'll get Golos. Okay, 
Uh, we've already used our Lotus. I would definitely get Lotus if I had one available. I think you just get a Gruel Turf. If only Gigantha was an artifact you could untap with Manifold Key. Geist would look similarly uninspiring. I feel like Geist, like, one thing I really like about Geist is if your opponent, like, pings your Mana Dork with Ridden Six, then you can kill it with Geist. But other than that, I don't have, yeah, not too much nice to say about it. Other than I loved it in Standard. No! <laughs> Damn it. Ugh, we can't spin again, can we? Uh, we do have Cascading Cataracts, actually. But we can't put it into play. We, can, we can't put it into play with the... Grazer. Would I play it? I'm not, I'm not saying cut Hapatra. I'm, I, I think you should play Hapatra. I'm just saying... It's... I, I didn't understand so much why tutors hated it. And now I'm kind of getting it. But that doesn't mean I, I recommend cutting it. Exactly. Can play his extra land drop. Yeah, Grazer doesn't give you an extra land drop. Grazer lets you put a land from your hand into play. Which is different. Yeah, yeah, good when you tutor about to draw. Yeah, I, I would I would play Hapatra. I would play Hapatra, but these are definitely the kind of games where you don't want it. But also Hapatra here is gonna kill all my creatures and be very, very good. Yeah, yeah, pretty unlucky series of turns, but that's okay. Yeah, so they have to pay... They do have to pay 13 life to kill all my creatures, but they also get to draw 13 cards. I'm not even sure, like, what out... Like, what we could draw, since, like, they can kill Golos in response. We only have... 7 mana next turn. So, yeah, we could draw Escape to the Wilds into... Into Timeless Lotus. That, that could get the job done, so we'll... Take our time here. Is the messenger just better in that spot? Well, Hapatra solos all my creatures. It's also two versus three. Do we look at Root Maze? Card. Root Maze. Is that... Is it... An, it's not another amulet, is it? Artifact and lands intertapped. Yeah, I'm not... I don't think we would look at this, but... <laughs> I, I've seen it before. It's a fun card to play. Yeah, I think our, our only out is like a really good escape to the wilds. You don't think slowing your opponent down while you're still triggers? Does it work here? Well, it, it, I'm not saying it doesn't work. I'm just saying like it, I don't think it's worth the slot. Like it, it's a car, it's just like it it doesn't help your com help you combo very effectively. You're a deck that like needs all your pieces to combo. Like I I have no idea what we're trying to cut for this. Um, and it's, like, really only good on turn one, and it gets, or, like, turn one, turn two, maybe, and it gets much worse after that. No, no Colossus. But, like, if it was a free card, you know, or if it was, like, tutorable with Saga, I'd be, I'd be interested. Yeah, a lot of whiffs this, uh, this game. That's okay, though. Still 2 no. I'm dead. I don't think I'm dead. They don't have a, if they had an undying creature, I'd be dead. But they, they, I should, I should, I guess that if they can cord for Young Wolf, on, then I'm dead. Unless I'm missing something. Killer Phoenix, fifteen months. I'm like probably dead. They just, they just need to, or they can also go like land Young Wolf. In their 14 cards. Messenger would be better than Hapatra here. Would it? Uh, Hapatra let them draw like 16 cards, 14 cards? A lot of cards. What's his next game playing against Hammer Time? Would you play a mind the main deck if I expect to, expect to face? I, my plan against Hammer Time is to win the die roll, kill them before they kill me. Jump with Grazer sometimes. I don't think I would main, I would not main deck in my, okay, there we go. So let's see what we would have drawn the escape. No way. One, two, three, four, five. Stirrings into Karn, wow. With the Azusa also. 
the Carnot or Emerald Ghoul. Okay, we'll bring in the Welding Jars, cut the map, cut a... And let's use, uh... Could cut an Emerald Ghoul. Let's try that. Well, I don't know, maybe we just need the top... I mean, <laughs> reduce the number of bricks, I don't know. Never look, I guess. Second Messenger? I haven't seen Second Messenger in so long. Doing well today, Nit. Well. This deck has just been, like, <laughs> a breath of fresh air. It's been so fun. Yeah, yeah. At first you played 4 Messenger back before Grist was printed, and then it's like... Because you didn't have, like, an amazing 3-drop besides Evolution. So, you know, played a lot of Messengers, but Grist, like, really... Takes up the three jump slot. Awesome, Pancake. Good luck, good luck. The second one's pretty good. I, I think you get a lot of people confused by it too, which always gives you a little bit of an edge. I need to buy Amulets, Timeless Lotus, Door to Nothingness, Filgree Sages, Gardens. I need to buy Gardens anyways. Maybe I did buy, maybe I did buy Gardens. I don't think so. Azusa says, ah, I'm missing a lot of pieces. Did you play the first, do not play Messenger? It's uh, kind of like 50 50. Alright, on the play. Tumbleswords are expensive? Damn it. <laughs> I would have never guessed. Oh, this hand's cracked. No, I don't, yeah, don't on Curio. Don't on Curio. I think. No, I don't. I don't. But I, I have been like theory. Do we have any? Do we have any amulet? Where's Fran? We need Fran. How do y'all feel about a build of amulet titan that's in on the infinite mana combo with courier plus grazer? You like just being able to like summoners pack for the second grazer to get infinite mana seems like a thing to me. I'll try it. I'll I'll, I'll try to play test it tonight. It's tough though. I. <laughs> I don't know that I have Amulet Titan in me. I guess I have this deck in me, though. <laughs> I don't know that I want to play it. Should you play Gardens play around Force of Vigor? No, I'm going to, like, lose to... Like, it, Gardens also, like, gets to be Force of Vigor really hard. I'm just going to, like, not... Just going to lose to it if they have it this game. How many times have I got a career to go off? A couple times. Oh, come on. This Both of my Amulet opponents have just had Natty Magus on turn two. We were we were we were to beat it one time. We probably I don't know if we're gonna be able to beat it this game. Damn it! Probably a bad matchup. I think it's a bad matchup for um, normal amulet titan two. This time they have basic lands. Probably start with the Karn build. Yeah, yeah. So I would play. I, I'm thinking that you could maybe just play three Karns. Or sorry, three Curios main in a car and also. That's kind of where I'd start just to see how it feels. But it's like, like you can like infinite combo on turn two, I think. Like with some, two or three, like very consistently with the, with if you main deck the Curios. And like only carding for Curio is going to be a lot less consistent. I'm trying to think exactly what like a turn. So you go turn one amulet. Yeah, yeah. If, if you just go, yeah, if you just go turn one amulet, turn two Bounce Sand, Grazer, Curio, Float of Green, Summer's Pack for a second Grazer. That's infinite mana. So I'm missing it. So, uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll do some playtesting. Uh, I'll do some playtesting. But I, I just, it's just like, you have, the fact that you have, like, freely eight Grazers with Summoner's Pack make, is very exciting. But, like, more traditional versions of... Hollow vine that you know get to have more explosive draws with Hollow One. Sam, take a thank you. Deck looks very slow. I would like. I would like. I also like really don't like playing Lightning Bolt in these kind of decks. I like to be, you know, more synergy based. I would, I would like. I would play Fury over Lightning Bolt like every single time probably. Mountain Aether Vial. I don't know. Uh, I, 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 I have, I, I, the, we can maybe just get a refund on the deck tech. I, I don't think I have any ideas besides, like, this looks a lot worse than, like, more traditional Hollow Vine. 
Okay, I'd love to see that over Snoop. Yeah, so we can get a mod to confirm when they uh, refund the deck attack, because I just don't have ideas. Maybe I need to Stirrings looking for a bounce land this turn. Instead of copying. Yeah, if you you also get Umori if you just play Fury over Lightning Bolt. Which isn't worth a lot in the deck, honestly, but... Lightning Bolt's not that good either. So they get their Snoop. They main phase Violet and Snoop? Not sure why they do that. Could maybe even kept the gardens. Okay, we found Lotus Field though. <laughs> Sometimes it's just that easy. So let's do something like Esper into Gruel Turf off Golos. Map stirrings. Okay, we found a timeless lotus. We're one mana short of playing it. Seeing if uh beside you force the shuffle. Yeah, a little short here. Guess we're mostly just thinning. Oh, fuck the sages. Doesn't really matter. Then if they have um, Harbinger. And we should win next turn if they don't. Okay, new spoiler Stormclaw Rager. 3 mana 2 2. Another counter creature artifact could counter active and draw a card only as a sorcery. <laughs> wow. Okay, love to see Horde Master just getting cast. And they violent. Oh, they have their uh, munitions expert now to kill Golos. Okay. That being said, we get to go turf for six mana into Timeless Lotus minus. So that's sixteen mana total. Uh, yeah, we can just we just show them the door. Just literally just get to show them the door. Although this Gruel Turf is mana positive. Oh, sorry. The the the, uh, the Escape to the Wilds is mana positive. But we'll just show them the door, I think. Oh no, sorry, we I I keep I keep doing this. I, it's 19 mana. We have 16 mana. I keep forgetting like the, the a factor in for Karn. <laughs> so we we actually can't just show them the door here. But we can uh try to find some mana off the escape. We found we found uh we found enough. Okay. Awesome. That's like the third time I've like thought it's just like exactly 15, but you need 19, of course. I think it's so silly. Yeah, cool, 20 more mana. <laughs> All right, opponent, we're gonna show you the door. You may exit the game now. So they got Trash Masters post board. It's so, such, such a slow card. I think I might bring in the Needle, which can stop Trash Master or Snoop, though. Were we playing an EDH deck? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> if we were playing this 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 wouldn't be an EDH deck because if we were playing EDH uh you know we'd be like I think I think this deck's a little unfun, Spike. You're making like 50 mana on turn three. I think that this is really just not in the spirit of 
of our game. I don't know. Is that how EDH players talk? <laughs> But I'm literally not even playing Soul Ring. <laughs> yeah, plus we have Golos. Yeah, Golos is banned at EDH. Yeah, my, de my deck is about a 7 power level. <laughs> I won 7 out of 10 matches yesterday, so... Actually a 7 out of 10, right? All right, so I don't know that we're gonna be able to. Oh, well, maybe. So we go Lotus Field, four mana. Grazer, five. Azusa, six. And then with six mana, we, we can Timeless Lotus first or we can escape to the wilds first and hope to Timeless Lotus after we find like another amulet or something. Obviously, if this was game three, we were just on the play. We just wait a turn, but it's not game three. We're not on the play. So we have to try to go for turn two, I think, against the likely Snoop combo. Could maybe play an extra copy of Lotus Field. Lotus Field's been pretty good to draw. You can't play too many. I think you know, just one as like... Oh yeah, sorry. I, I, I always, when I play Azusa, I keep thinking I should get two untaps, and then the bounce, and then the bounce happens, and I feel like I fucked up, but, um, obviously not how it works. So I guess we can escape first, before we play the Grazer, because we have the land drop now. Huh. So we have exactly three mana. Right, we have one land drop, and we have the Grazer for plus one. Which is only three. So I think we just play gardens and then hope to not be dead. But they're definitely gonna you know, prioritize keeping a combo hand. Good to see Magus. But Magus with the draw is likely too slow. Game three. What do we want on the play? Yeah, Escape has been so good. I, I'm honestly, like, interested in seeing, like, maybe regular Amulet Titan play this. Like, I think that it was worse before Gardens got printed, but, like, when you have, uh, like, two Amulets in play, it's only, like, minus one mana to, to, to play it, and potentially plus one mana if you have three Amulets. Uh, my opponent's on 62 cards. I think this hand's a little slow. We need, to, we need a fast hand for game three here, and... This looks like it meets the qualifications. Should be able to put back the second real turf. Puts on the mold of six. Yeah, what plays well with Lotus too. Being like all, all the fives play so well together. That's a minus one map. I you, I think you need the map. You need to be able to map for a bounce land. I find minus one key plus two explore. I think the key is good too. Like the first key. I got although we almost never search for it with Saga, but you're not too bad to too unhappy to draw it. You, you could cut the key. Uh, I'm not, like, dying for explorers, though. Could be better than I think. I you know, obviously don't play with the card too much. Thoughts in Gretchen Tichwillow? Oh. Gretchen would maybe make sense in, like, the Curia version. Maybe not. So the problem with grabbing Timeless Lotus here is that I can't play it next turn without like an extra land effect. If I cop if if I copy Amulet right now, so maybe I just have to take a second Garden. Could also just Car next turn. I don't really have any, like, super relevant cards to get. Let's get the Lotus. I think I think getting Lotus and, like, just winning the game if I draw Grazer or Zeusa um, is fine. I could still play the card next turn. 
If they have thoughts, he's into combo, you know, good beats, but they just have a Horde Master. We drew the Needle, which is also, like, really interesting. Carnival Blista, if they have Magus. Well, Melissa's gonna be win this the game, win them the game, anyways. I think I get Metamorph so I can make a third amulet, so I can actually do something the following turn. I can go Metamorph plus Needle next turn. Hopefully, activate Karn again. Then thoughts using the Azusa really like shredded the hand. Expert kills the Karn. After watching yesterday, it's like, looks like it hits really high turns and really low turns, meaning we spend a lot of resources to get a lot of power on turn 2, 3, 5, 6, and middle spinning wheels. Is that accurate? Uh, close to accurate, if not accurate. I don't, I don't, I feel like your, like, number evaluation of turns is, like, not exactly what I'd say, or at the very least, like, just very game dependent, but, like, that's just how big mana and combo decks are. They're high variance. Do they have to take the Lotus Field here? I think I just take the key. I've got the Timeless Lotus. Alright, so they, they're stuck on two lands. Hopefully they like the you know they don't like land magus be here. We also need to draw a payoff. Couldn't couldn't stirrings into Karn or Golos. Don't have infinite time either. But we have a lot of mana. We can we can gigant the next turn. And then with Lotus in play, we have outs to um, Magus, which is nice. So we need to think about using the needle or holding it. Probably holding it makes sense. Jigatha stabilizing a little bit here is actually really nice. It's also, again, very nice that we just have, like, a ton of mana through a Magus, potentially. I'm going to go ahead and hold the, um, I just might, might as well tap this as, like, a pseudo bluff. Hold the Needle. Would I cut for the Needle in Azusa, right? <laughs> well, kind of surprised that's in their deck post board, but I'm taking... Seven down to six. Yeah, so I'm, um, I guess they can't pay Echo. Yeah, I'm not dead next turn, assuming I don't draw anything. But I also have like a million, or a lot of draws, not a million, but I have a lot of draws that end the game. Karn, Golos, Escape, Stirrings into one of those. Not Simic Growth Chamber, though. So they can't pay Echo. They do get to double trigger Horde Master. Aether Vial flipped, and Munitions Expert flipped, which doesn't kill me. Needle safely. Uh, the card safe. I don't, what, what do you needle? I don't think. Needle fetch? Nah. I want to be able to name Snoop, I think. Or Trash Master, but I just don't need to name either yet. I have as much mana. It's not like I'm choked on mana. Am I happy with the ratio of mana to gas? Seems like you find one payoff, they all cascade more. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the the payoffs. You usually don't, you know, you don't only usually need one. Um, me having to use my Karn for Phyrexian Metamorph here was tough. Because they thought he's my Azusa. Oh, awesome. That's a fun way to win. Or did I not have to play this? Doesn't matter, they're just dead. Still not sure that you need the first Emrakul. The first Emrakul's been pretty good though. You're like usually, like you can like basically always cast it. <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah, they're at 15. With 15, six permanents is a pretty good time to draw Emrakul. <laughs> All right, well, Giganta, thank you for saving the game. Uh, every, I think every league we've played with this deck, we've played for the 4-1. We had 1-4-1 and 1-3-2 with the list yesterday. Let's get a prediction going. Okay, can't keep this. 
Yeah, you don't need these season pyromancers necessarily. They're okay. 46, but all in on lose, can't throw the match. Okay, deal, Dalton. Don't tell anybody. I went for a Sprawl for iteration for sure. I think moving the Magus to the side is fine. If you disagree, you really want the Moon Effects main, you can play Blood Moon over like Season Pyromancer, but. I don't know. You have a lot of three drops too with the Spire of the Silver. You can play three Spiral, three Gurk, four Fury maybe. Don't feel super strongly about it, I suppose. Um, I would also probably like not play set two Sokenzons. <laughs> I'd probably play the tenth Fetchland. You're on nine right now, right? Yeah, I'd probably play the tenth Fetchland, fourth Misty, so you can have more green for turn one Utopia Sprawl. I'd also probably do one to save you main and like multiple sides. It's typically how I like to do it, but it's you know optional. Oof, it's a fairy. It's very so good. I like their only card that does anything here too, unfortunately. Um Yeah, you could get the Besaju for like red green filter land. Like one red green filter land could could potentially go a long way for you. Okay, so if they don't have end of turn creativity, we're maybe doing okay. Obviously the amulet's a really good draw. Can pay for spell pierce, can also copy. We could maybe still beat end of turn creativity here. Discard forest and golos number two. Yeah, I don't feel super strongly about the sideboard. It looks like pretty normal, but I think these are these are my thoughts on the, the archetype. So we have to copy. Jason, eight months ago, thank you. Feel like Fable over Spire on the deck? Eh. It's like super close, if anything. Doesn't Saga just get bounced? I mean, they can't, they don't have another minus here. Damn. The second saga? Mm, yeah, maybe I guess you're right. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, we're short, huh? Fable is only played over Spiral because of creativity. In this deck, yeah. I mean, F Fable's a good card in other shells too, but I, I do typically think that Season Pyromancer is better than Fable on average, but it's very close and is yeah, not something I feel super strongly on. Well, that's, that's probably going to be good enough. I guess we could have actually played it out, but they, if, if they just bounce, we're dead. I mean, we weren't drawing another amulet anyways. I guess we, we could have drawn another amulet, even if they bounced. Um... I think Fable is better than in Ren and Six decks. I think it's super close um, in Ren and Six decks, but yeah, you get you get a little bit of extra equity there, and it kind of depends on like what creatures you have to copy. And like another thing is like one of the best creatures to copy with Fable is Seasoned Pyromancer. So you kind of like in some decks getting to play both is really nice. All right, on the play, yeah, if they didn't have to fairy, we're in pretty good shape. Where are the chances they have to fairy? Oh, to fairy's too slow on the draw. Whatever, main boat storm braid. No, I no, of course not. Of course not. Just use it as a card target. Oh, creativity. No land drop, huh? Well, I got some land drops to hit. <laughs> I 
<laughs> concedes the game. All right. Well, it's been a fast match so far. Pretty fast league overall. That was a fast concession. <laughs> I just cast a card. Don't like. I really don't like that. Like, I can't play this growth chamber turn two. Well, I can, but I don't want to. Let's let's mulligan. It's also like so bad against Saga Hate. Bad against Teferi. Um, I think I just need to go to five. Uh, so bad. They have so much interaction, but I have like no red mana, no amulet. And this hand is like a worse version of my seven card hand. Although I do have Girl Turf over Growth Chamber, which is kind of something. Hmm. I think we keep that six on the draw. I think if, I think the average five is better than that six card hand. I think this this hand is better than that six card hand. But I could be wrong. I kind of love that. Amulet? Ding, 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 ding. Not playing around to Fury. Fair enough. They only have three cards. We just drew a pretty good one. They have like a Leyland Binding maybe. The Spell Pierce. Prismari Command. Looks like Prismari Command. And they make a treasure token, which means we're dead. Big mode of downtime tomorrow? Well, I guess big Dark Soul stream tomorrow. Six hours starting at 9, PST, and Brummer. Get some Dark Souls in, though. We need to get some practice in tonight. I mean, we're not in the worst shape. Be cool to win through, but Sage Reaper's Mari Command, fast ish Archon on this uh, Mold of 5. Personal best arcs to run, 2 hits or like about 80% way through the game. Although it's been a while since like I've had like that much even. I think we just get the Lotus in play. Well, yeah, we can win, it obviously just depends on how good this escape is. Too bad. Probably not quite good enough though. So I think I get to cast my car in a guess. What do I do with Karn? I guess I get Filgree. Could just get another amulet. Yeah, I think with all these Golos, we're just gonna get another amulet. Okay. Which Banor might be a good cyber target, even though don't like the too much reactive witch targets. Yeah, I don't know. It's like you could just get stone brain too a lot of time in spots where that one would be good. Slinger, 14 months, thank you, you're doing well. This would be an awesome game to win. Where you even survive creativity x equals two. Did I forget my extra lineup wilds? Nope. I don't think so. 
Uh, yeah, only sideboard changes. I'm I'm old over some main deck changes, but I am I'm liking the main deck a lot. Three cards in their hand. I think they're gonna say Creativity X2. And then I have to keep Grill Turf as my last card, but then I have two Golos as an exile and a lot of mana. I guess I could keep I could keep um Oh yeah, I don't have to keep Grill Turf actually. I can keep Amulet because I can get a bounce land off Golos, pick up a bounce land, pay, play bounce land for turn. I can kill three, kill Azusa, oh maybe. I always forget about that. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> yeah! Let's go! Let's freaking go, dude. Oh, whoops. I. Sorry, I forgot that I was losing my. Amulet. Ugh, okay, hold on. Wait, hold on. I, I'm still dead. I was so excited, though. Damn it, I was too excited. I didn't even think about it. So what am I supposed to do? Do I keep Karn? Keep Azusa? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize I was just dead. I could have I could have kept like Azusa and had like a chance. No, Golos can't do anything. I know I can play Golos, like what does Golos do? Nothing. I can just barely cast it. If only I had my Timeless Lotus instead of Emrakul. Bummer. Okay, let's run it back. Attack first, see if they mess up. They're not going to. They're, like, what? They're just they're not going to sack their Archons. There's a... <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.